<laughs> hey, what's up garden friends? Jeff here, how's everybody doing? Hope you're doing well. I'm great. There's ducks in the pool. And also, I don't, I didn't film a video for today. Oops. And I have to keep the camera away from the patio. I, you got a little preview of things because I showed you all the ducks. So you kind of getting a glimpse of what's going on for the next video that's coming out here. I just didn't have time with everything that's going on for the video that's going to be coming out in a few days. Things just, they, they ate away. There wasn't time. I'm sorry. The plan had been to come out here and film some things today, Tuesday, the day before this video is supposed to come out. But, uh, you know, there's a power washer going up there. And then I remembered I can't, y'all can't see the patio yet. I can't show you the after of things before you've even seen them before. So that doesn't make any sense. I know, it's been like three solid weeks of me picking up the camera going, I don't have a video for today. And it all goes back to this project that will be done after this weekend. So Saturday's video comes out, things will be back to normal. But I thought y'all would like to see the ducks. They're cute, look at them. Look at them, look at the quacks. I didn't know they were out here. And I popped outside to let Turbo out. Good thing I was right behind him. I saw the ducks before he did. I recorded it, look at, look at how good he was. Sit, good boy, lie down, go indoors, come on. Come on, come on Turbo, come on, good boy. There you go, good boy, I'm proud of you, good boy. Yes, there you go, good boy, good boy Turbo. Wasn't that great? I'm so impressed. Talk about some good old fashioned self-restraint. These ducks are so stinking cute. Yeah, they're probably pooping in the pool and making a big mess in the water, but that's okay. They're not gonna stay long. Whenever ducks show up, they're usually just stopping by. They need a break. The chlorine in here, it's salt and it's a very, very, very small amount of salt. It doesn't kill frogs, amphibians in general, very sensitive. So if the frogs are okay, the ducks should be totally fine. Look at the apple tree. This is, uh, this is all you're getting. It's just gonna be random stuff. <laughs> nice blooms on the apple. Those were not open during the Not A Garden Tour, the video that came out prior to this one, which was another video where I was like, hey, I don't know what to do here because I can't show you anything. There's an update, nice to have an update on those. We had some awful storms last night. Tornado, actually, very, very, very close by, or maybe a microburst. I haven't gotten any updates on that yet, but I assumed that all those flowers would get blown off, and I'm glad that they didn't. That happens so often with the peaches, pears, apples. The springtime, it's so blustery and windy that end up losing all the buds, and they don't really have much production. Can I film an entire video of just close-up shots? It probably wouldn't go over well with people. Uh, well, here's another update. Got some bulb action going on in here. The Jan Bose, Bose? I don't know how you say it. It's a reddish fuchsia hyacinth. Smells amazing and very tall flower spikes on them too. I had no idea when I planted them that the bamboo was going to start growing in the front of the container, let alone in March. Didn't think that would be happening because it's April now but the spikes, the shoots started coming up in March. Usually that doesn't happen until like mid to late April, sometimes not even until early May. So I assume that this would be a blank slate in front with lots of little miniature daffodils and then the hyacinths behind them. But oh, well, that's how it worked out. I'm fine with it. Hard to tell. I don't want to go down there because we got the quack quacks over here, but the berm, look at all the bulbs. They're coming up finally doing their thing. I was worried that the tulip bulbs weren't going to uh, perform before the butterburrs, the pedicites, pedicites, the ones with the variegated leaves in the very front of things, trying to get my finger in there to point. Zoomed in so far, it's kind of hard to do it. You probably, hopefully know what I'm talking about. Even those might take over before the tulips could come up and do their thing because they were a late season tulip, but they're coming up and I can even see a bud there. I don't think I can zoom in any further. Oh, I can. Oh, it's gonna be shaky and incredibly blurry. That was not, no, juice is not worth the squeeze there. Go ahead and bring that back. Is that better? I'm sorry about all the close-ups. I just don't want to ruin the big reveal in the video that comes out after this one. And how often do we get to see ducks in the backyard? That's exciting. I'm so sorry about the power washer too. There's just, uh, there's nothing I can do about it. There's noise everywhere. I'm outside and there's nothing to film inside right now. And I can't even film inside right now. Look at, he's so stinking cute. Blurry, but so stinking cute. I'm really surprised with how comfortable he seems to be. Oh, look at him, just having a nap on top of the diving board. It's, I know that if we get introspective about it and think about what's going on here, it's kind of a bummer. It would be better if these ducks were in a pond in a natural environment, but there are a lot of ponds around here. 
actually, there are tons. There's tons of ponds around here, so I don't know why they chose this spot. And heck, I'm only a few miles away from the Missouri River, which I don't really know if that's duck territory. But again, ponds. Actually, they're not natural. They're mostly man-made. But there's still ponds, and there's always ducks in them, so they're welcome. They'll probably move on to one of those spots here sooner than later, especially once they figure out that there's not a food source around here. Sorry about the camera being shaky. When you zoom in, it's a lot harder to hold things steady. This was supposed to be a bulb update, but there just isn't that much of an update to give on most of them. They've done some growing since the last video, the Not A Garden Tour. Here's what I filmed last night before the storms rolled in because I thought that the storms were going to destroy them. Turns out they didn't. There's a lot of lightning. They're saying there's going to be hail, so I thought I should probably just get a glimpse. Yep, okay, you can hear that, right? Get a glimpse of the bulbs while they're looking fantastic. Baseball size hail is a prediction. Hopefully it'll be nothing. But just to be safe, I wanted to come in so you can have a look at everything before it gets destroyed by giant chunks of hail and 70 mile an hour gusts of wind. <laughs> I just heard the neighbor's dog do a little shriek. I'm not sure if it's because of the ducks or if he just wants back in his house. I know ducks and Labradors. That's a messy combination. Oh, big jump. I don't know why I get so excited about that. They're just so stinking cute. I love ducks. All right, it's not so much a plant video, but you gotta admit, this is fun, right? I'm sure it's really blurry too, because I'm zoomed in from so far away. I'm sitting on the glider. If you're familiar with the channel and you know where the glider is, then you know how far away I am. Can't zoom out and show you because again, the reveal will be ruined. Hey, that's enough. I'm sure that the background noise is terribly obnoxious. I'm sure the shakiness of the cameras ridiculously nauseating to people. I just thank you all for your patience. Hopefully the juice will be worth the squeeze with the video that comes out after this one getting to see what's been going on out here. Okay, all right. I lost track of things. I'm taking y'all with me. There we go. What a handsome duck he is. They make a lovely couple. What if they were to stay out here and have their little ducklings? All right, I know. Need to stop. That's obviously not going to happen. I have two Labradors. There's no way I have to be able to let them outside. And I don't really want the pool to be full of duck poop. Ducks are beautiful. But they're also, they're also very, very, very messy. Okay, they're gone. Well, there's nothing else to talk about now. Ducks are gone. <laughs> you gonna come back? Come back. To oh, those are geese. They can stay away. Don't eat geese here. Yeah, like I was saying, thanks for everybody's patience. Things will get back to normal soon. Pardon the background audio and just the terrible, this is not how we usually do things over here. If you're new, this isn't normal, but I just, I had to do something and I figured this would be fun to check in and y'all get to see the ducks and a better look at the bulbs. Actually, I should let Turbo out because I think he really needs to go potty. You need to go potty? There you go. I wasn't really able to give a bulb update in the Not A Garden Tour because well, they weren't really doing much. And look how much they've done in just a few days. Isn't that beautiful? Also, I think I called this the Morris... Boy, I don't remember what I called it. Morris Chestnut? Something Gugnov? I don't remember. I just know that I had it wrong. Solaray, maybe? That might be it. Solaray mix. Beautiful, multi-toned, orange and yellow tulips, these big purple ones that open up nicely. They're not standing up all that strong after the storms last night, unfortunately. Now that the reds are starting to open up, doesn't that look great? Beautiful. I absolutely love this blend. Yeah, here's what the storm did to those purple ones. They're all hanging down. That might just be the nature of them too, because they have really big heavy flowers on them. So maybe I just didn't get them down deep enough in the ground. See if they stand up. Winds are starting to calm down. Maybe they'll pop themselves back up. Had a whole bunch of them planted in the entire front of this garden bed, and most of them didn't come up. I, I said I was gonna go, didn't I? It's time to go. All right. Hope everybody's doing well. Having a great day, great life, and everything's going absolutely beautifully for you. And of course, as always, and most importantly, everybody, keep on growing. Bye.